plaintiff, Anika Pettis, says the defendant is her son, and his behavior has always been a problem. Anika claims the defendant was expelled from three high schools for fighting, and she's suing him today because during an argument he kicked her car and damaged her door. Defendant De'Aire Brownson admits that he's gotten into some trouble and that he and his mother have never gotten along, but he insists he's doing what he can to stay out of prison and be a father to his son. Start with you. Okay, first I want to say, Judge Mathis, I am a huge fan. Thank you. Um, and I had to get that out the way. Thank you. And um, this is my son. I love him. I'm really not here to bash him, but, you know, he has to take responsibility for his actions, and he has to grow up. Um, I had him when I was very young. I was 15 when I had him. Um, I actually had two kids in high school, but I still managed to graduate. I mm -hmm. moved out on my own. Mm -hmm. I maintained full-time employment. My kids have never been hungry, homeless, or without. Did you have to raise them alone? I have, um, my husband, I've been with him for 20 years. Good. So he has a positive male figure right. who also works, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I don't know what happened with him. I don't know if it was a case of too much. Tell me what's been going on from his um, adolescence up until now. Well, when he was um, when he was a child, he was just always the one in everything. You know, he's not a bad person, mm -hmm. but when he started school, he would like he was a class clown. He was very smart. Um, you know, grades were never a problem, but his behavior just not I don't good. know, like disrupting class. Was he ever kicked out? Yes. How many times? When he gotten. High school, I think he went to three high schools. He was expelled. Kicked out for what? Mostly fighting. Do you ever send him for counseling, or did school ever order we him? We started, we did counseling when he was younger, but De'Aire would, we would go to counseling and he would put his hoodie on his head and wouldn't say anything. He would do what? Put his hoodie over his head and wouldn't mm -hmm. say anything, so. You ever been to jail or juvenile? He was in and out as a teenager. Um, for what? For one time was he shot his friend with a BB gun. Um, you know, it was minor stuff. Party to a crime. What does that mean? He was with some people that did a crime. People who did what? They broke into a neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. He didn't break into it? <laughs> uh, you know... <laughs> he stayed on the porch. Yeah. He, um... So I'm, 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 he... I'm listening to part of the problem now, Mama. I know, I, you know... Making excuses for I'm him. I'm not making excuses, because yeah, I've, exactly I've always told him... It was him a when party, he... and then I say, he didn't break in? He didn't. He kicked the door <laughs> and then walked away. He kicked the door. <laughs> and walked away. All right, I see the problem. You yeah. want to give me some background, young man? Other than your mother makes excuses for you when you kick down a door and break in a house? Go ahead. It didn't happen like that. But okay. Let me we hear. We never seen eye to mm -hmm. eye, you know. Why not? Growing, I, I don't know. We just never never got along. How about your father? I mean, he a good dude. I, mean, I don't know my biological father, mm -hmm. but my stepfather, he a wonderful guy, you know. We always see eye to eye, but he don't be at home as mm -hmm. often as she do. Did you get as much trouble as she says? See, I actually belittled it, but... So you, you know, did more? Is that what you mean? A little bit, but... Mm -hmm. Moved out the How house, seventh grade, 19, finna be 20 Been in the penitentiary day. yet? No, I ain't going there. Why? Scared? I, no, I ain't scared. Why I got a whole son to take care of. I can't take huh? care of my son in prison. Oh, so you changed your life? Yeah, you could say. Well, yeah, I can't say nothing. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. What are you doing with your life now? Um... Well, I'm graduating high you, school in you May. You nervous? You scared? I ain't scared. A little okay, nervous. Okay, you keep doing... Oh, you're a little nervous. All right, nervous. I understand. What now? Graduate high school in May. Got a job. Okay. Little, little, little minor job, though. That's all right. I ain't happy okay. to say. Okay. What do you intend to do? I ain't... I'm going to be honest. I don't even know. All right. At least you're honest. You want to do something beyond that, though, right? And beyond a little job, right? Yeah, I just trying to figure out as I progress. Okay. He was very smart. Um, you know, grades were never a problem, but his behavior just, Not I don't good. know, like disrupting class. Was he ever kicked out? Yes. How many times? When he got in high school, I think he went to three high schools, he was expelled. Kicked out for what? Mostly fighting. Plaintiff Anika Pettis is suing her son because she claims during an argument, the defendant kicked her car and damaged her door. What happened with counseling? Man, I don't want to go talk to no I'm stranger. I'm not your man. Don't say man. Say judge. Judge, I yeah. don't want to go talk to no stranger. <laughs> All right. Who just want to tell me to take this... How old were you when you went? Like, 
third grade, fourth grade. What grade or how old were you when you stopped? Like 10th grade. Okay. My mama still tried to drag me down there, though. It was against my wishes, you know, see. Because you didn't think it worked? It did it. But did you keep getting in trouble? Yeah. You are trying to be a, a, a thug. A thug? Yeah. That's what thugs do. They kick in doors and break in the house. I ain't, I ain't breaking no houses. There ain't no under a month, thieves. You see, say you just belittled some friend, some What do you friend. mean by belittling? Were you with them? No, they just came to my house with their little merchandise, you know, and the neighbor seen it and I ain't tell. You give me your whole impression that you want to be a thug. All your mannerisms, the way you're talking, the way you everything about you says thug. Let me explain something to you. You say you don't want to go to prison. If you stay on the same course, you're going to go to prison. Go ahead, man. What are you suing him for? I'm How did he damage your car? Uh, he kicked it. Him and his girlfriend got into an argument. Um, I took her home, and he felt like I took her side. Um, and in the process, I mean, it, you know, it happened over a night. He kicked my car. He broke a, my door, my security door glass. Um, he was just angry at me. A whole lot of stuff came out. You know how he felt about me personally. Um, you ever heard him doing that to uh, any guys on the street? He was a fighter. You know, he... No, no, no. I'm talking about damaging their car and all that. Oh, no. Kicking their car in. No, but he's not kicking in anybody's and... door, like kicking in dope houses or any real street guys or were no. these, like, innocent people? Who's the person whose door he kicked in? What were they like? What were they? They were good. They were good, good neighbors. Good people. All right. Not gangsters. Not street guys. No. All right, he's scared of them, I promise you. All right. <laughs> he would die. BB guns? BB guns? Who does that? <laughs> what <laughs> what thug walks around with a BB gun? All right, he's 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 not a thug, ma'am. He he's a wannabe. That's what they call him. All right, so he damaged the car. Tell me how you had hospital bills. On the night um in question, I took the girl I took his girlfriend home and when I came back um, she called me to come back and get the baby, his baby. I went and got the baby. When I came back with the baby, he was upset because I went in the house and closed the door. He felt like I locked him out. Um, I put the baby on the bed. I got in the shower. Before I could even get wet, I just heard bumping. So my other kids were at home, and I was like, what is that? And they said, that's the at the door. So I have this little bitty towel on. I go downstairs to, as I'm opening up the door, I hear him saying, if you want your phone, open the door, because he had my phone, too. And I, when I opened the door, I just seen my security door glass. It was just out. But I was really focused on my phone because I saw my phone somersaulting at that time. It was like slow motion. I was like, no. <laughs> and I just stepped out on the glass. I didn't even, you know, I saw the glass, but I didn't see the glass and stepped out on the glass. So I ended up walking around for eight days with that in my foot because I didn't, I couldn't find it at the time. I didn't know I had it. And eventually it hurt it so bad, I had to go to the hospital. You have your hospital bill. And when your son um, attacked you or turned violent on you, did you go to the police? I did. And you know what they do? I called the police, and they gave me a ticket for him. Ticket? He got a vandalism ticket. With oh, OK. The police basically well, told me that night, because I wanted him to go to the mental hospital. You know, mm -hmm. he was acting crazy. And they told me, basically, man, we have people out here shooting each other. We're not going to go look for your son. Mm -hmm. Here's the ticket. Leave it for him. Mm -hmm. OK. Yep, that happens. So, 2,863, no reason for me to sit here and counsel with him. He still wants to be a tough guy. <laughs> so, let him go and play tough in prison. You'll see what happened. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. You gotta take responsibility for your actions. <laughs> it is always like that. You don't take responsibility for nothing you do. You're getting better. Just learn from your mistakes. Thank <laughs> you.